Hello, Parallelpreneur Powerhouses, and welcome to this week's Net Nugget, where I'm going to share with you one tip that will inspire you to act, activate your faith, commit to a plan, and take action. Um, and I want to motivate you to move as well. So vision boards, not manifesting your dreams. I want you to avoid these common mistakes for some real results. Let's get into it. Manifestation through vision boards only works if you create them correctly. The top mistakes that are killing your results are, drum roll, <laughs> is having too many pictures or quotes, just a plethora, it's all over the board. That could kind of impact, right? Because it could become overwhelming. It's just too much. So if you keep them to 10 to 12 total images representing your top goals, guess what? overwhelming your brain is going to decrease because you only have 10 to 12 things to focus on compared to 20, 30, 40, 50 pictures to kind of focus on. Also, you know, I know sometimes we have limited access to real photos and things like that. So we may have to use stock photos, right? But if you can't implement some authentic shots of what you really want for your life or your business, that can really help because you'll, with those kind of, um, when you have images that are more like real to you, then you have like an um, emotional pull to it. If you choose stock photos, then you won't have that emotional pull to it because, you know, it's stock. It's perfectly set up and all the things, right? So find realistic pictures of your dreams from real life um, so you can engage your subconscious realistically. Also, neglecting to integrate your board into your daily life. I need for you to print it out or place it in your bathroom or put it on a wall or a device or somewhere you can view it very quickly. I talk about this and share this in my vision board experiences all the time. When I first created my first vision board, um, probably over 10 years ago now, you know, I did it and then I just kind of threw it in the closet, never not to be looked at until I was like, you know what? Wait a minute. There's some things that I want to accomplish. Let me put this vision board somewhere where I can see it. So in my office across from me, there's a, like a TV stand. So I'll put the vision board there so I could see it each and every, every day. Um, so it's very imperative to make it so that you can see it. Also, making your vision too vague and lacking clear goals can also um, cause you some, um, not help your board, help you manifest the visions that you set out for your board. So make sure you quantify these desires with these images of specific achievements, like buying, um, like being very specific when it comes to what it is that you're trying to accomplish when it comes to your business and your goals, right? Not being vague, right? Being very specific. If you are looking to buy your dream car, your dream house, or make that next money milestone or have that next collaboration in your business or uh, get more of your dream clients or create that dream offer, then, you know, whatever it could be, just make sure it's very specific in what it is that you want to achieve. No am ambiguity <laughs> it would dilute your direction um, so also not revisiting your board to update it of any expired goals or shift perspective definitely you should definitely revisit it or create a new one every year if you got a board and you've achieved all the things on it it's definitely time to create a new one and you should be at my upcoming vision board experience or if you haven't finished um, doing everything, it's time to definitely revisit and see, you know, what can be um, checked off as a completed thing or what needs to be changed because that's no longer your desire. Definitely, you need to do that. Um, when you recreate, recreate your vision board yearly, it ensures that alignment with your growth and changing dreams over time. And so let's talk about you avoiding these pitfalls, right? These are the common things that will railroad your manifestation of the things that's on your vision board. Um, so we want to ensure that you are laser focused when it comes to it. And so let's just kind of do a quick recap of some of uh, these things that you should, common mistakes you should avoid. Number one, having too many photos or quotes. Number two, having a lot of stock images over like authentic shots. Number three, neglecting to integrate your board in your daily life. Um, number four, having kind of vague 
visions or goals. And then number five, not really revisiting the visions that board that you have created. So I definitely want you to avoid those common mistakes. And if you want to create a results-driven vision board, then guess, you guessed it, you should get your ticket to my upcoming vision board event. If you want more details, just comment vision below. And for those who are just joining me for the very first time, let me briefly introduce myself. I am Nefateria Fonde, the owner of Go Get It Inc., a certified business and sales coach for parallelpreneurs. Those are professionals who are building their business alongside their career. I help them get clear on who they serve and how they serve and get confident in their sales skills so they can get more cash into their business. And until the next time, make sure you be profitable and be blessed. Bye for now.